All right, hey guys, welcome back to the FNAF mod survival part a hey, hey, yo, bro, 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 bro. Could you not ruin my shot, bro? Can't you see I'm I'm doing an intro, buddy? Get out of here. Get out of here. But anyways, welcome back, guys, to the FNAF mod survival, and we are back with part eight. So in the last episode, we mainly focused on villagers. So we have these villager homes, which are based off of the minigame houses from FNAF 5, sister location from the custom night minigames. So I have a bunch of villagers living here. They're all living nice and peaceful. They even have a sheep and I think there's a chicken There should be a chicken in here as well. Yep there. We do got a chicken captured as well I mean uh live in here. No, no, no I would never force anybody to stay in these homes all these guys they're here be They're here because they wanted to be here, right? Right? Also, why are you unemployed, bro? You gotta, you guys gotta go get some jobs, alright? Uh, anyways, we do also have a iron golem infestation going on because of all these villagers, but you know what? I'm sure it's fine as long as they don't trample all my crops. Everything's gonna be a-okay. But anyways, guys, for today's episode, we are gonna focus on finishing our first pizzeria. Because once we finish this pizzeria, I want to start working on a second pizzeria, and I have a really good idea for it. But before we can start working on a new pizzeria we got to go ahead and finish this pizzeria so the only things left to do with this pizzeria is the outside i want to do like a logo for it so probably like a freddy fazbear face or something and we also have to finish the security office how is there a cat inside my pizzeria i'm sorry mr kitty cat this is freddy's not candies bro get out of here I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, but hey, I will take the free string. Um, so yeah, the only thing we really got to do with this pizzeria is the, um, is the office. Also, Toy Freddy, you are not Toy Foxy. What are you doing over here, buddy? What you doing over here? Um, I mean, also, I guess the bathrooms might need some decorations or something. But yeah, it's mainly the security office that needs some love. So we got to work on this. We got to get another security door installed. And I haven't decided if I want a security door right here or not i kind of like it as a backstage door but obviously we won't really be able to defend ourselves from the animatronics if they decide to come through the back but you know what it's probably fine what's the worst that would happen while we get stuffed inside a freddy fazbear suit or something so anyways let's go ahead and finish the security office so let me go ahead put away my junk and let me go ahead and see if there's any decorations we should acquire for our office i mean hey we could have some plushies in there we did get a golden freddy plushie a while back ago i only have one golden freddy plushie maybe we could stuff him in the office somewhere we got a speaker we could hang up on the wall we got some posters yo give me all these posters right here we do have some tablecloths so maybe we could throw in some tables uh what else could we throw in the security office we have a light button bro we could install some lights you know i think that might be kind of cool i don't know exactly where I would put them. We got some pipes. We got some speakers. Uh, I mean, we do have arcade machines. I don't really know. I'll take the redstone lamps because of the lights. Um, okay, well, this is what we got to work with. Oh my gosh, Toy Foxy, why are you in here right now? I need to work on decorating the office. So I do like the celebrate poster where it's at. Okay, you know what? You want to leave? You want to leave now? Go on. Get out. Get out of here. I'm doing decorations for the office. Uh, let's see. I think we might just throw down a table right here i don't see the problem of yeah throwing a table right there um we do got some more monitors so we got like two things of these small monitors the only thing is that they're kind of like two blocks wide technically we do also have a single mini speaker that we can place down so we got that to work with uh we also have one of these big speakers that we can put on the ceiling again i like using the big speakers kind of like little like intercom things basically it's like if there's like an announcement through the pizzeria it's like hey whoever lost their car keys pl please come to the front desk or whatever you know so that's why i like having all these speakers all over the place which we do have a speaker there no toy freddy don't come in here buddy don't come on in here which we we actually have that speaker placed right there so i mean i guess we could go ahead and place another one right there that way it's kind of you know matching up even though it's right on the light uh let's see Ooh, we could have like a shelf or something right here that way we could have like plushies and stuff on it i was thinking maybe we could like throw an arcade machine or something in here um hmm we do mainly have most of these posters and stuff we got these pipes toy freddy what you doing in the music box buddy you don't belong there also i just thought of something since i'm no longer gonna have my bed in this room that way the shelf doesn't stay empty i think i'm just gonna put the endoskeletons on it and then that way i can put the tablecloth 
back on this little table right here. So let me pick up these endoskeletons. There we go. Put our tablecloth back. And then I grab my endos and we can just have two endos chilling up there. Oh yeah, the endos, we're vibing. We're chilling right here. Yo, it's what the endos do best. All right, also it did just turn nighttime, so I need to go to sleep, bro. All right, I think I'm gonna make some birch stairs. That way we can maybe have a shelf in here, kind of like how we have this shelf right here. Um, mm, Cause I was thinking like, hey, maybe we could have like a shelf right there. I feel like that's not a bad place for a shelf. And then, yeah, we could put, like, monitors right here. Because we'll still be able to get in through the door. Oh, that's a bit of a tight squeeze, though. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, hey, if we had the door on the other wall. Or, actually, here, let's just move the monitors. If we move this to the other side. No, that completely blocks up the door. No. Okay, so the monitors have to be on this side right here. And I think because of that, I think I'm going to move the, um, move the door boop there we go got one door and then we put it on that wall yeah there we go that way we don't have that problem of running into the speakers that way we can easily get through this door right here there we go all right yeah i like having those speakers right there um again we do have these pipes oh we could actually have the pipes connect to the um connect to the ceiling somewhere just put it like on the ceiling yeah we'll do that actually uh let's see oh no toy chica you cannot come in here uh if i was gonna have a pipe somewhere would i where would i put it I'm thinking maybe like right here. I just have to have it facing the right direction. But yeah, these small pipes. Oh, good detail right there. Yeah, there you go. There's just some pipes dangling that just connect into the wall right there. I like that. We also got some wires that we can use. So we can put some like wires right there. And then I did also pick up some stars. So we do got some stars that can be dangling. Um, Yeah, I think having some, some stars here and there is pretty good. And then maybe some in the corner right there. There we go. Uh, again, we do have the speaker, which we could put on the shelf. But I think it would be better maybe on the floor somewhere. Probably like right there is actually good. Um, I do have an endo skeleton. I could have an endo in this room. I don't really know if I want to have an endo skeleton though in here. I mean, hey, it's like we have an arcade machine. And then we can have an endo bindo dangling off of it. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I have a good idea. We're going to put the arcade machine right there. And then boom, endoskeletons just sitting on the arcade machine right there. There we go. Endo Bindo just chilling on the Foxy arcade machine. There we go. Um, Let's see. What else do we have? We have the Fredbear plushie. I think it would be nice if we did also have like a regular Freddy plushie in here. I mean, I could technically put one on the desk. Um, Do I really want to have a Freddy plushie on the desk? I think we will. Uh, yeah, give me one Freddy Fazbear plushie. And we're just going to put this on the desk right there. There we go. We got a Freddy plushie just chilling on the desk right there. There we go. We can go up, go over here. Boop his nose. Boop his snoot. Um, but where would a good place for Golden Freddy to go? I mean, <laughs> no, not there. Oh, you know one thing we could do? We can make an armor stand. And I got these two Fredbear pieces of the Springlock suit, which we got like in one of the first episodes. So I could actually, yeah, I could put that on an armor stand. Here, let me make an armor stand. It's been a while since I've had to craft me an armor stand. I kind of don't remember how to craft one, to be honest. But I think we'll, uh, I think we can figure it out. Okay, let's just, uh, let's grab some sticks. How hard can it be to make an armor stand? I think it's like this. Yo, I'm a genius. All right, yeah, we can have an armor stand in here. And this will just have like the, um, the costume on it. Or like parts of the costume at least. Uh, let's see. If I was an armor stand, though, where would I put it? I mean, I guess. Could we put it here? No, we can't because of the, um, of the speakers in the way. Dang, man. Oh, there we go. Oh, we actually got in the corner. There we go. We could just have that armor stand just in the corner right there. I kind of like it right there. It's just kind of like squeezed in the corner. I kind of like it. I completely forgot about the posters we have right here. All right, yeah, let's put some of these posters in here. So we got a Toy Freddy poster. Uh, we got a Toy Chica poster, and I think I am going to actually put the Golden Freddy plushie right there. And actually, maybe instead of Toy Chica, let's put Toy Bonnie. Which one's Toy Bonnie? This one's Toy Bonnie. There we go. Have a Toy Bonnie poster, which we could actually have it dangling off um, of that. Yeah, we could have, like, Toy Bonnie, then Toy Freddy. Uh, we could have a Toy Chica poster. Let's put it right there, because we will have a button that's going to go there. Uh, Toy Bonnie. And then I guess maybe... Oh, this is a little awkward right here. I guess a Toy Chica poster or something. And I do have some more stars. So I could actually put some 
right there and then we lower this toy bonnie poster by one there you go just trying to make sure the posters are spaced out by a little bit i wish i had more wall pizza but nope i got no wall pizza to my name actually wait if i move this toy chica poster down by one and then boom there you go there you go prize corner poster and that's pretty much all the unique posters i currently have Again, I, if I just had like a few wall pizzas in here, I think that would be good. But I don't got any more wall pizza, bro. I got none left. I mean, to be fair, there's no wall pizza in this room. I forgot about the pack of children's drawings. I don't I don't think I have any more of those. That would be cool if I could steal one of these. Can I, can I steal one? Steal one right there? Steal a pack of children's drawings and slap them in the office somewhere? You know, be like, hey, we actually appreciate the drawings from time to time uh let's see yeah i'm thinking probably maybe right there yeah that adds a little bit oh heck no it's nighttime no that's creepy that is creepy seeing toy chica without her beak no 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 i had no idea it was nighttime let me go to sleep all right guys i think i'm gonna go loot a pizzeria so i think we're gonna go back to the fnaf 1 location mainly because i do need a second security door for my office so that's the main thing I'm going after. But if I see anything else I can snatch, I think I'm going to go ahead and, you know, snatch it. Uh, let me just go ahead, grab some more bread. There we go. All right, let's go on a quest back to this pizzeria over here. I know I already took the wall pizzas. I mean, I, I only looted the, um, I only took the wall pizzas from the FNAF 1 location. I don't know if there will be any pizzas in the FNAF 3 location though. Hello, Mr. Pig. How's it going? How's it going, Mr. Pig? If I had carrots, I would make a pig farm, but nope. Which, yeah, that's something else I need to do, is make an animal farm. Hello, Mr. Chicken. I definitely wasn't trying to throw that egg at you. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, here we go. We got this location over here. This this abomination of FNAF 1 and FNAF 3 merging into, into one thing. So let's see. Is there anything we can steal from here for my location? Let's find out. Ow, if I can make this jump did i break a window last time no how did i i don't even know how i got in here last time i think i probably just walked into this room uh oh wait we have another is that a, another golden freddy plushie oh i guess i never did come in this room i thought i i thought i did walk in here but i guess i didn't all right <gasps> we got bonnie's guitar i want it bonnie's guitar oh that's cool we got bonnie's guitar look at me go yeah bonnie's guitar let's go we got so many plushies in here and we do have wall pizzas we have the classic celebrate poster Yo, I am actually out of shelves. Yo, instantly coming over here and looting this place. I mean, to be fair, this place is kind of chopped in half because a FNAF 1 location spawned on top of this. But yo, 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 this room has like all the stuff I need, bro. We got some wall pizza. We got this cool looking desk right here. Uh, we got an, we got an extra speaker we can steal. There we go. Steely, steely. Uh, let's see. Yep, we got more more wall pizza oh give me all this pizza give me all this pizza we got some presents give me that we have another celebrate poster which uh i have so many of these it's not even funny i mean yeah i guess we can go ahead and take this prize counter poster there we go steal that um wait we have the toy fan we got the toy fan here i don't even think we've gotten the original fan i mean there's the fan on the desk like the fan that comes with the desk but i believe there's a fan by itself <gasps> we got another indo bindo indo bindo oh and we have a hopper gotta take that we got a attention sign don't mind me bro yo i love fazer's fry <gasps> yo we got a uh we got a security door right here this is perfect oh let's go office door we also got the door buttons <gasps> oh here's the regular fan yo we also have the regular fan as a prop oh that's amazing yo regular fan um but yeah here's fast versus fry it mainly has a bunch of wires and stuff in it we have another desk right here what what is this place bro like what what is the uh design layout of this fast versus fright right here this hurts my brain um because yeah we have the entrance which, which is custom added we have a desk right here oh here we go now this is fast versus fright or at least it was fast versus fright until fnaf one i forgot golden freddy's here bro nah golden freddy just chilling here no, nah, that's just creepy. Oh, Golden Freddy's just chilling in the center room between the Bonnie stand hallway and the Foxy hallway right here. Can I actually take these really quickly? 
Yo, we got the foxy head. We got some drawings. We got some more pipes we can steal. I mean, borrow, right? Borrow. That's what we do best. We borrow stuff, right? Uh, okay, I just killed the Bonnie stand, but I did get a little Bonnie stand from it. Okay, we got the Chica head. Um, oh, we can't get the puppet mask because that part of the wall got destroyed. We got some more children's drawings. Yo, we are just looting this destroyed Fazbear's Fright location. Oh, we have the other arcade machines, bro. We got some Chica arcade machines, bro. Yo, we actually have a Chica arcade machine. Let me pick that up, bro. Let me pick that up. Chica the Chicken arcade machine. Oh, wait. We also have vent blocks here, too. Oh, okay. Well, I'll probably just buy those from Scotty, my villager that gives us... Gives us beautiful FNAF trades. Oh, and then here we have a hallway. So I believe this would go from the back exit of Fazbear Frights back to the front. Yeah, that's what this hallway is for. Um, and then we did capture Springtrap, which he's in the FNAF playground, which is a little concerning. Um, but yeah, I don't see us. Oh, wait, we have this Fazbear's Fright poster we can steal a Freddy Fazbear. Uh, we have a Bonnie the Bunny poster from FNAF 1. All right, all right, all right, all right. But yeah, that seems like all the main stuff we can steal. Yo, no, no, no. The back rooms of this location. No, nah, this is creepy, bro. Why are we in the back rooms of Fazbear's Fright? Wait, there's another location over here? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a location on this mountain right here, right behind this location. I was about to say, hey, I think I got enough stuff to head back. But what is this location, bro? Yo, there's a whole new location over here. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's another one of them purple spawn blocks right there. I guess we'll get another little spring bonnie house, but what is this look? This is like a abandoned Freddy's location. No, I don't like how dark it is underneath the pizzeria, bro. No, I don't need creepers blowing up. It gives me flashbacks of the FNAF 2 location. Yeah, this is a abandoned Freddy's location. Is this like Fred? Oh, what the heck? We got Withered Chica in here? Yo, Withered Chica, Withered Bonnie. Yo, where's Withered Freddy at? What's going on here? I mean, I will take this pizza box really quickly. But what's going on at this location, bro? What is this place? Hello, Freddy Fazbear. We got the uh, the restrooms. Hello. Yo, yeah, this is a abandoned Freddy's location. No, I don't like how this door is boarded up. No, something tells me this is the safe room, bro. Let me in. Let me in. Knock, knock. Uh, I don't have anything to turn into a button. Well, guess I'm breaking down the door. Hello? Oh, it's just a, um, it's just a closet. You know, there's some, there's some blood in the corner, but, you know, I'm sure it's probably fine. Yeah, what's the, uh, what's the worst that could happen? Um, can I put down that door again, please? I'll just put that there. And, oh, my signs. Okay, well, we can just leave those. Uh, we got the exit right here. Oh, oh, we got a Golden Freddy. Oh, this is right behind the stage. This is cool. Yeah, we got a backstage right here. Yo, give me this Indo Bindo real quick. There we go. One Indo Bindo. Hi, Golden Freddy. Bye, Golden Freddy. Yo, so at least I know where like three Golden Freddies are at. Why is there a horse in here, bro? Why is there a horse and its child in here? Nah, you got to stay in there, bro. Oh, we have a security office right here. I'm trying to figure out what this location is, bro. We got like all the lights and stuff. And then this just, oh, uh, we got the kitchen. We got Foxy's Pirate's Cove. Bro, where's Withered Freddy at? No, there's a creeper. There's a creeper. There's a creeper. Let me out. Let me out, bro. Let me out. No, 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 no. You stay in there, Mr. Creeper. You stay in there. Nope. And it's also turning nighttime. Okay, I'm heading back home. I am heading back home because we got more than enough stuff. But that's really cool. That there's a abandoned Freddy's location right there. Oh, wait. Let's see if this is a uh, Spring Bonnie house. Let's see. Spring Bonnie. You here, buddy? Boom. Spring Bonnie. Oh, that is not Spring Bonnie. What is this? This is a little house? Why is there a little house? There's an Indo Bindo inside? Hey, yo, Indo, bro. Is this your crib? There's just like a little a little shack, bro. What's, what's in here? Hello? Any animatronics? We got barrels. Wait, there's stuff in here, bro. <gasps> we got Mr. Cupcake. We got, oh, the microphone. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. There's like fabric in here. Yeah, remnant infuser, bro. We can infuse some remnant, bro. Here, give me this Indo Bindo, bro. I want to take all this stuff, but my inventory is running out of space. All right, give me the microphone and give me the cupcake. That's really cool that we have like all the, um, 
all the main three FNAF, uh, FNAF instruments. That's cool. Uh, I think we're gonna leave a celebrate poster because it would not hurt to take some iron. Uh, oh, we got more iron right there. Yo, free stuff, bro. Free stuff. Can't complain. Can't complain for free stuff. All right, well, we just had a little random shack right there, like a little supply shack. Okay, that's pretty cool. Die, Mr. Creeper. Don't blow up Freddy's. No! He blew up Freddy's fat, Freddy Fazbear's, bro. Um, oh, we have like a, uh, ooh, this is cool. Like the garage area. I think we have come back here before, but it's been actually a while. No, 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 no. It's been a while since I've been at this Freddy's location. Close those doors. Bro, listen, I was just uh, I was just interested in maybe stealing a few more attention signs for uh for my pizzeria. You know? It wouldn't hurt to grab a few more, right? Uh is there yep, we got one more. And then we also got some shelves. Give me some shelves really quickly, bro. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to get some extra shelves. Uh let me grab a few more. There we go. Steely steely. There we go. And then what is this? This is, I think this might be like a little container right here that has some, uh, some storage or something in it. Okay, I know Golden Freddy is over here somewhere, bro. Let me just take some more shelves. I just want some shelves. Okay, let's get out of here, bro. Let's skadiddly skedaddle. Oh, wait, is Springtrap still here? Oh, there's Springtrap. How's it going, buddy? How's it going, Springtrap? You still chilling in that boat? All right, we'll see you later. No, that's Chica the Chicken, bro. Who let Chica out? Who let Chica out? Who let her outside? It wasn't me. Actually, it probably was me because I did come over here and I think I left the front door open. So that's how Chica escaped. But yeah, we do still need to come over here and capture the FNAF 1 animatronics. But we shall do that later. No, why is there a skeleton with enchanted gold armor? Ah! Don't hurt me, please, Mr. Bed. Mr. Bed, Mr. Parrot, keep me safe, bro. Keep me safe while I sleep. All right, there we go. It's morning time. Yeah, that's right. You guys can't do anything. I'm going inside my pizzeria where it's safe, unless it's nighttime. Yo, now that we got some more stuff, we can decorate my office even more, bro. Look at my office. My office is coming along great. Oh, wait, where's the, um, where's the security door? Oh, it's right here. There you go. Let's go ahead and install this security door right here. Yo, there we go. Boom. Security door. Yo, we got another security door. Oh, that's beautiful. And we do actually have the attention signs. On the outsides of the doors but yo we got our second security door yo we're gonna be safe from the animatronics let's go um but do i really need anything else in here i can't place the cupcake down or anything like that i think that's really everything that that, that should go in here i mean we got some more children drawings right here that we can we can kind of space out we got some wall pizza we can place i uh, can't place any there uh Anywhere else I could put some wall pizza. We could put some right there. And then I guess we could have one right there maybe. And then I guess maybe one right there. There we go. Yeah, I think this is the office pretty much complete. Yo, I love how the office has come along. I think this looks fantastic right here. Yo, let's go. Security office is finally complete. Nah, Mr. Enderman, what you doing in here, bro? You're, you're, hey, yo, hey, yo, we're not open yet. Oh my gosh, bro. These Endermen, they keep coming in here and they keep leaving their stinking grass blocks inside, bro. That's insane. But yeah, we are, I think we're pretty much done. Oh, wait, this hallway right here could use a few more decorations. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. We're almost done. Oh my gosh. And I locked myself out of the security office. You know what? Maybe this is why we have one of these doors that's actually not a, uh, a security door. That way we can actually get back inside the office, bro. So that way I don't accidentally lock myself out. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's grab some, let's grab some stuff really quickly to kind of decorate that entrance area. Do I have any stars? We do have presents I can go place. Uh, where'd I put my stars? There we go. I kind of Put some of my stuff in here just to go ahead and pull it right back on out. Um, okay. I think this should be fine. Oh, we do need more chairs, bro. We definitely need more chairs, but do I feel like getting chairs right now? No, no, I don't. Eventually, we'll get some chairs from Scotty and we can actually place them inside. Uh, did I want a, like a big poster on this wall? I don't want the prize corner poster. I mean, I could have a celebrate poster right there. Uh, I guess I should I guess I'll put a celebrate poster on that wall because that wall feels like super empty And I feel like a celebrate poster would go good. Do I have an extra celebrate poster? I know I had one on me earlier, but then I left it at the Freddy's location. I got the FNAF 1 celebrate poster 
No, I'm actually out of FNAF 2 Celebrate posters. I thought I had a ton of those, bro. I thought I was stacked on those. Okay, well, fine. Give me some of this. I guess we can add maybe another table or something in that hallway. Oh, I'm out of scaffolding. Uh, do I have bamboo? I should have bamboo, right? Yeah, we can just go ahead and make some more scaffolding real quick. Where's my crafting table? Gotta make some more scaffolding. There we go. Uh, put the bamboo back up. Um, okay, I think this will be good. All right, how do I want to do this? Yeah, I think we're going to have a table just chilling right there. There we go. We got a table, which I could add another table right here. But I think, I don't know if that will be too much or not. I mean, I guess so. I mean, yeah, yeah that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, we can have some presents, which how do we want these presents to go? I guess uh, eh, that's a little, ooh, because that's like clipping into the table, bro. How do I want these presents to go? I mean... What if I had it like this? I mean, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine right there. Um, and then, I mean, we could try to have some more presents right here. So let's figure out how we want these. Probably like that, actually. Yeah, I think that's fine like that. Uh, we do have a speaker, which I mean, hey, we could just plop that right there. You know, hide it in the corner. We got some more of these stars we can place. There we go. Put down some stars. There we go, which we already had a few of these in here, but hey, doesn't hurt that hurt to put down a few more. I love how here we just have like, we have three Fredbear plushies and then one Spring Bonnie plushie. You know what? I'm sure it's fine. And then we do have some wall pizza that we can place down, uh, which no, I did not mean to put it right there. Excuse me. Excuse me, Toy Foxy. There we go. Put those down. Um, and then we got some posters we can place. So we don't have a celebrate poster. But we can go ahead and put some more of these posters down. I think I'm also out of Toy Freddy posters. To be honest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm out of Toy Freddy posters. Oh, no, no, no. Not the Bonnie poster right there. No, get rid of that Bonnie poster. Okay, well, there's all my decorations. So, there we go. This main hallway is a bit more decorated. Okay, there we go. I like it. Anything else that needs more decorations? I don't think so. I mean, the only other thing I can think of is the bathrooms. But they don't have to really be anything too special you know i mean hey we could get like a um i was gonna say we could have like a toy bonnie poster and toy chica poster but i only have one toy chica poster left and then besides that i'm completely out of posters well i guess it's time we finish off the roof so let me grab some blue concrete and put all this up uh let's see i think we're gonna build we'll build we'll probably build a bear logo out of just some oak wood some simple oak wood can't go wrong with oak wood and I don't think we really need anything too fancy. I mean, we could maybe add a sign somewhere and put some, like, glow ink on it. And then we could dye it something. That might be kind of cool. We might could do something like that. But, uh, yeah, all right. So, we got some blue concrete. Do I want some more redstone lamp? I mean, we could take some redstone lamps. Let me grab... Do I have any cobblestone for levers? Because I might just have some redstone lamps on like the sign or something i think that might look kind of cool and just have those lights always turned on grab some more cobble okay there we go yeah we should be good with this all right let's start working on the roof of freddy fazbear's pizza and you know what i think we're just gonna make a ladder on the back that way i can easily get up there so do i actually have any more ladders i have rails those aren't ladders man this is the problem of having like a chest monster is that you have all your stuff that gets lost okay let's just turn all these sticks there you go let's make some ladders i don't need many there you go that should be plenty and i guess with the rest of these i don't want to turn all of them into lovers but let's go ahead and turn a few of them all right there we go and it is starting to turn nighttime but you know what that's fine there's a spider underneath my location bro get out of here mr spider get on out of here and then there we go we have a nice ladder and what I'm thinking about doing is we're just going to increase this at least by one. I might do it by two so that way you don't see the daylight sensors. But yeah, at least building this up with at least a row of blue concrete on the outside of the pizzeria. Okay, so that's the outline of the pizzeria built up by one. How does that look? That looks fine. It looks fine. I might do like a thing of like, I don't know, like trap doors or something as like a row but i think that's fine uh, i just i know i could probably like do like another thing of black concrete but i don't really want to because i have no black concrete and do i want to go get black concrete no no i do not 
Um. Uh, fine, I'll go get some black concrete. That way it looks good. I've come this far. I can't be lazy on the final details. Uh, let me get some black concrete. All right, well, I got some black concrete, and I was thinking about removing that layer of blue concrete I placed down and replacing it with black concrete, but I just realized it won't line up with the windows because it's black concrete, then we have the windows, and then it would be a row of blue concrete, and then we would have the black concrete. So what I'm thinking about doing instead is actually having it like this, where it's going to pop out of the roof by one block for that whole layer right there so basically yeah putting down that layer of blue concrete is pointless because nobody is really going to see it but i think yeah i think having it like this will be good yeah that was a good call having it pop out right there yeah i actually really do like this roof now the only other thing with the roof is that if you go up high enough you can see all the daylight sensors because yeah the roof is still kind of exposed so maybe on that like outline of blue maybe we could add like a thing of slabs or something that way you just can't really see the daylight sensors or something because i do need the daylight sensors to be exposed because well they need the daylight in order to work so i might add like maybe a thing of um of slabs or something on a top of the uh again not on top of the black concrete that i just placed but on top of the blue concrete but anyways besides the roof i think it's good for right now i want to work on the logo so i was thinking about maybe we have like text right here and then we could add like a freddy head on like the on the front of the door and maybe raise the roof up by a little bit so we can actually add a freddy head or something i think that might look kind of cool uh but first things first we need to actually extend this pathway right here that we made in the last episode and again i'm too lazy to fill in all this stuff down here so we're just gonna add in a bunch of torches under my pizzeria there we go and then boom 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 there we go just fill all this in with some dirt i think we should be good to right there and then yep we're just gonna go ahead and fully continue this pathway all right there we go pathway is done so what i'm thinking about doing is ooh, how many how many spaces do we have because i'm thinking about making the letters three blocks wide so that's three 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 okay that's pro so we can fit, fit four letters we could do like fred or you know what we could actually just do fnaf f-n-a-f there we go we'll have fnaf here um so yeah we'll add like little pedestals right here which i could just extend the black concrete but that might look a little weird um but yeah i think maybe add in like i guess what we could do is maybe do like stone slabs right here and then oh what do we actually build it out of because it needs to be made out of something that some some type of block that can be turned into slabs and stairs for the letters but i think add in like these little stone slabs right here to actually like support up the sign i think that's pretty good um so yeah so we're gonna have four letters it's gonna spell out fnaf i just need to figure out what type of material i want to use i could use smooth stone slabs but i am running low and i also don't want it to match with the uh outline of the uh, main pathway um i want it to be something that can kind of pop so there's nothing too dark maybe we could use like the warped wood or the crimson wood that we got in the last episode i don't want to use just oak wood Oh, it might actually be better not to use wood. What 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 all do I have to work with back here? Oh, I got copper. We could use copper. Is that all the copper I have is just 18 raw blocks of copper? I think so. How much copper does that get converted into? I think this how many how much copper does it take to make a copper block? Is it what nine or something? This we might actually just use copper. I think we're gonna use copper for it now obviously with copper it can oxidize over time so we got to be smart of that um which that means like if we first place it down it'll be orange but then over time it'll turn into like a bit of a uh a cyan color so we do got to keep that in mind but yeah i think we might try copper because i haven't built anything with copper yet on here so eventually whenever we get honey or something we can wax it that way it can't get oxidized but I think it, I think it might be cool to try to build out of a build it out of copper. So all we gotta do is just wait for the copper to smelt. Um, what can we do in the meantime? I mean, I guess I could check on my auto wheat farm we made in the last episode, 
And something I do want to do is an auto melon farm, which I guess we could also squeeze it like down here next to the auto wheat farm. How's it going, villager? You've been working down here, buddy? Oh, yo, he's got us a stack of wheat. Yo, let's go. Yep, the auto wheat farm is working, bro. Yo, you got some wheat you need to be harvesting, bro. This guy is, is kind of slacking, but he is indeed getting some wheat. Wait a minute, there's a bee! Yo, Mr. B, where's your beehive at, bro? Where's your beehive so I can get some of that honey, bro? Where is it? Where's your beehive at? I just want to steal it. Oh, it's right here. Yo, we got a beehive. Okay. How do you, um, I think you have to use an axe to actually get it, but we need a campfire. Um, that's actually good that I know where a beehive is at. Alright, that's perfect for my, uh, for my copper. So yeah, I think we are going to try to build the sign out of copper okay good i got some coal so let's quickly make ourselves a campfire there we go so if we have a campfire under the beehive the bees won't get angry at us and then we should be able to use our axe on it to get some of the honeycombs and if we take the honeycombs and click on copper it should oxidize it i don't really mess around with bees too much in minecraft so this should work uh, so put that there. There we go. Got a campfire and that's a torch. That's a, that's a torch. I uh, Axe. Oh wait, maybe we need shears. Because I know you can use a bottle to get bottled honey. But I believe you use that to get honey blocks. So we need shears, which I should actually have some in here. Okay, I thought it was an axe. I thought you would like stri strip it like you do logs. But I guess it might be shears. Oh, there we go. Yo, honeycomb. Let's go. That's what we needed. So we just got to wait for this, uh, for the bees to fill this up with some more honey. Oh, and then we can get some more honeycombs. Okay, sweet. Another thing I want to add to my pizzeria is how we have these houses right here with the windows. I actually really do like these, like, window curtains on the sides. So I kind of want to actually add these to this pizzeria, but I just got to figure out what type of trap doors. And honestly, I think I might do, I might do, uh, how does jungle trap doors look? I'm thinking either like jungle or acacia uh, because I do like it having like the lines kind of like how the uh, warped and the crimson trapdoors are like but I don't want to use those because obviously I use those on the houses. I think I have jungle wood somewhere. I have an acacia sapling because I believe acacia saplings like the acacia trapdoors are lines. I'm not 100% 100% sure about jungle saplings. Did I ever get any jungle saplings? I don't think I did. We do have jungle wood. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what a jungle trapdoor looks like oh uh, no that's it's more of like a circle isn't it yeah it's more of a circle shape that's not what we're going for all right i think we're gonna do acacia acacia trapdoors all right got my acacia sapling and let's grow some acacia trees uh i guess right here might be good so come on grow no i don't think that's a good placement for it maybe one block over no come on let me grow one acacia tree. There we go. Okay, that's a big acacia tree. All right, so yeah, let's just get some acacia wood. Okay, we got 10 logs. That goes down to 40 planks. And we're just going to turn all this into trap doors. Because, yeah, this actually has the lines. Um, which it also does have the... Um, oh, it does also have that like little gray part on it, though. I mean, actually, I guess we could do it like that. Where it kind of like meets in the center right there. I don't think that's bad. I actually kind of like that. Yeah, all right, yeah. We're going to use acacia trap doors in front of all these windows and just have it connect like that yeah i think that's good i like that you know spices up the outside of the pizzeria just slightly there we go so yeah we just gotta get some more acacia wood hey yo mr tree you want to give me a sapling oh yo we got a sapling right there one more acacia tree there we go so yeah we're gonna need a few of these trees because it because trap doors man their crafting recipe it just eats up so much wood six planks for two trap doors yeah that does that really does not seem like a fair trade the the crafting recipe for uh for trap doors is a complete scam if you ask me all right there we go got another acacia tree come on buddy i just want some acacia wood i just want acacia trap doors and hopefully we get more saplings from that Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. And more trap doors. Yuppie. 16 trap doors. And now we just got to go around all these windows. Oh. Ooh, if we have the sign here. Ooh. Ooh, I don't. Ooh. 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 ooh, ooh. I guess we can't have a trap door right there. All right. You know what? I guess that's fine. We can at least put one right there. 
Then we go around the pizzeria. Yep, we got some more right here. Um, there we go. Put that there. Put that there. Put this right there. There we go. See, this is all connecting up nice and nice and perfect. Yeah, I really do like the trapdoors. It's something so small, but actually adds a lot more to it instead of it just being like a blue wall with just some windows. Also, I think I might actually add a window on this side. I mean, we got this room right here, which we could actually fit a window in right here. Yeah, I think we might actually add a window in in this uh, parts and services room. Or we could just have it slid over by one, but no, nah, I think having it right there is good. Do I actually have any more glass panes? That's the real question. I got some glass. I got some of them blue glass panes. Do I have regular glass panes, though? Uh, I can always just craft some more. Well, guess I'm crafting. Give me my glass. And boom, glass panes. And then I wanted to see if there was... Uh, hi, Toy Freddy. I wanted to see if there's a place I could add some in here. Because we do have a window there. Um, I mean, we could add, we could add like a big window, but I don't know if I want to do that. I, or we could just add like two small windows right here, like a window there and a window there. Yeah, I think we're just going to add two windows right here. So we'll add a window right there, leave a gap, and then we'll just add a, another window right here. Yeah, I think this will be good. Did anything fall outside? Oh, we just had some blocks. So boom, glass panes. And then boom, some more glass panes. There we go, adds a bit more light in here. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then we just got our drawing. So let's go ahead and rehang these up on the wall. Uh, we'll put that there. And then we have this extra one, which I guess can go over there. Yeah, but no, actually adding in some windows right there. Oh, that looks nice. Again, we, we need to chop down some of the trees outside because there are some trees that are like really close. But no, that actually looks really good. Just adding in those two windows. That, that's actually like brighten up this room. Because again, like the daylight with the shaders I'm using, the daylight is way brighter than light produced from redstone lamps. But obviously if you're playing without shaders, the light doesn't really matter. But yeah, I really like that. Uh, those two windows, bro, just made this room feel so much more joyful. I'm not gonna lie. Yo, yeah, adding in those three windows, bro. That's really, really good. So we just need some acacia wood. And actually, how's my copper doing? Because I had like another thing of copper I could smell. Uh, here it is. 34 bits of copper. Hi, Toy Bonnie. Bye, Toy Bonnie. Hey, my copper's done. Okay, let's just go ahead and put that in there. So we can make a copper block. Please be like this. No, it's going to be like this. Is this just for, for one copper block? Oh, it is, bro. Oh, I don't think this is going to be enough. Oh, I might have to go get some copper. Me getting copper? No, bro. Not how wait, how do you make copper stairs? Or oh wait, do we need to make like the oh we have to make this the cut copper? That's what we need, because then we can make stairs out of this. And then it's gonna be like that. But we would get more for it if we actually make a stone cutter. Cause yeah, that's a little cheat system right there. If you try to make stairs in a crafting table, you technically lose two blocks because it takes six blocks to make one stair. Um, or actually it takes six blocks to make four stairs, so you lose two blocks. But if you use a stone cutter, it's one block per stair. So, uh, if I could make a stone cutter really quickly, that would be great. But I don't think I got any stone. I got two stone. I don't have one more stone. I need one more stone, bro. I need one more bit, bit of stone. Uh, copper, I will put you back in in one second. Give me one stone, please. There we go. Got my stone. Now I just need a piece of iron. Where's my iron? Uh, it's in this chest right here. Now we make a stone cutter, which I guess we could actually leave this in this parts and services room. Oh, wait. Sorry, not slabs. We need stone. There we go. Stone cutter. Where does one put a stone cutter at in a pizzeria? Um, I mean, I guess we could just place it there for now. All right. So what were we going to do? Make some stairs. Because I know I'll need some stairs. There we go. And then with the slabs, we get two. So, yeah. Just make some of these. Make some of those. We'll start off with this. Uh, Alright, I guess let's start putting in the sign. So, it's going to be FNAF. So, okay. I'm, I actually need more cut copper blocks than actual like slabs and stuff. But, oh well. We'll get some more in a minute. Uh, so, boom, boom. So, this is going to be the F. We'll have a block there. F in, so we need two blocks and then it's just stairs. So this is going to look a little weird because I don't have all the blocks yet. Uh, but this is for the in, and then we would have two blocks there, two blocks there. 
F in, then we have A, which for A, we'll have a slab there, a slab there, and then boom, boom with the stairs, and then boom, we would just have two blocks there. And then we have the letter F again, which is just slabs. So we have the, uh, yeah, we're done with all the slabs and the stairs. We just need some more cut copper blocks and then we can finish the sign. This sign looks so weird right now, but trust me, it's going to look good. We just need, how many blocks do we need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We need 12 cut copper blocks. Oh, is this going to be enough? Let's find out. Put this in there. No, this is not going to be enough. Oh, so close yet so far away, bro. All right, well, at least we'll have like half the letters done. Uh, okay, there we go. We just got 12. Uh, wait, how did I get 12 from that? Wait, what? How did I... Wait, huh? I'm so confused. Wait, what did I just do? I had 6. How did I get 12? Wait, is that something with the stone... Huh? huh? What did I just do? Did I just find out a cheat sheet with, with Minecraft stone cutter? Because it takes 4 copper blocks. And that gives you 4 cut copper blocks. But if you put 1 copper, blo one copper block in there, it gives you like two cut copper block i'm confused that hurt my brain you know what better not to complain and just build i don't know how i just got 12 i could have sworn i had six you know what it's probably fine okay here we go uh so uh this is actually the right number we need boom 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 perfect there we go yo the minecraft gods heard me they're like man this guy needs 12 cut copper blocks give him his 12 cut copper blocks right there yo there we go fnaf so yeah we have this nice little fnaf logo um i'm trying to decide if i want it to be like spaced out like this or if i want like the actual like slabs to be connected do i want it to be connected like that i mean yeah we can have it we can have it connected and then maybe add in a few torches or something i don't really know um, where would we even add torches at though? Because like we have a torch there, a torch there, and a torch there. FNAF. Um, anywhere else? I mean, we could actually have a torch. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. That's actually perfect. A torch every other block. FNAF. Yo, I like that. I like that. And then since this window right here is actually still like exposed right here for these two blocks. I guess we can actually add in some more acacia trap doors right there. Um, oh no, I let my leaves despawn. I have no more acacia saplings. Yeah, it's going to be easier if I just go to the acacia biome and just chop down a bunch of acacia trees real quick. Acacia wood, acacia wood. It's very rare. I need acacia wood, but honestly, I like acacia, acacia trap doors. And that's really the only thing I like about acacia wood, to be honest. I mean, hey, it has a nice orange color to it. Wait, we could actually maybe use um this for the logo. I mean, or I could try to get some brown concrete. I don't want to make concrete, bro. Concrete's not that hard to make. You just need sand and gravel and dye. But it's just the matter of getting the gravel can be annoying. I mean, sand's not that bad because we have a nice beach area. So we can easily get some sand. Uh, do I even have the stuff to make? Oh, I do because I have cocoa beans. So I can actually make brown concrete. Fine, since I have just the right amount of materials. I guess I'll make some freaking brown concrete because, again, I want to make a, a, a Freddy logo. So it'll just be like a bear logo with a little top hat on the uh, front entrance of the pizzeria. So that's what I want to do. Why am I getting oak wood? I don't know, but I guess I shouldn't be complaining. Ooh, this is actually this is actually a nice cave area right here. <gasps> Wait, is there any gravel in here I can quickly steal? Come on, give me some gravel. I want some gravel. Uh, there's some there. Is there like a easier patch to access um ow who shot me bro hey yo mr skeletons chill it is turning nighttime but i want some gravel oh here's a nice little area of gravel oh this is perfect oh it's so good when you come across a nice patch of gravel like this when you're trying to get concrete oh this is perfect all right yep definitely getting our brown concrete and i already have more than enough gravel now but I know I'll need some more in the future because concrete is something I love to build out of. So let's just go ahead and just get all of this gravel right here. Ow! Don't shoot me, bro! I just got like two pieces of flint right there. I got kind of scammed. Uh, Alright, yeah, I guess about two stacks of gravel should be fine. Should I go ahead and get some extra sand while I'm here? I mean, might as well. You know, it's not like it's nighttime and I'm kind of getting attacked by monsters and stuff. You know, it's probably fine. It's not like there's a zombie on its way. 
up here right now as I'm speaking, trying to kill me. And there he is. All right, buddy. You're go. My axe! It broke! Oh, my gosh. That zombie, he broke my axe. Are you kidding me? All right, well, let me go ahead and get some sand. Give me some sand. I want some sand. Oh, that's a zombie, and I don't have an axe anymore, so I have to use my diamond pickaxe. Oh, my gosh. And my shovel is broken, and that dude took my sand. Ain't no way you're taking my sand, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Give me no. No, no, no. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll never come on your property ever again. I'm so sorry. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized. I just got flashbacks. This is where the villager was, was hanging his llamas. Ah, good old memories. Good old memories. All right. Well, uh, let me head home and hopefully I can sleep before I get murdered. Yo, the villager houses actually look really cool at night. These look really cool. Um, but yeah, so far my villagers have not been turned into zombies and they're all sleeping so you know what i guess that's a good sign you know what scoot over villagers i want to snuggle let me snuggle in bed with you guys oh there we go daytime hi villagers i know we need to do some enchantments or sorry not not enchantments some trades with these guys but first things first go ahead turn all this into wood and then make some trap doors that is definitely not going to be enough a stack of acacia wood boom boom hopefully this will be enough um all right and then we can get some cocoa beans in a minute to make some brown concrete but yeah there we go nice little window frame and again we don't need one right here because the block's in the way going over here i need to get rid of this soil right here this soil has been there for so long i need to get rid of it all right just gotta finish up the window oh wait i just realized there's not even that many windows left i just made like a bunch of trap doors well i got some more for the future um, yeah, because now I'm just doing the windows I just installed. And there we go. That's, uh, that's it. That's all the windows, bro. That's all the windows. I could have saved a, um, I could have saved a stack of those acacia planks. But yeah, that's all the acacia wood installed. And we don't have any windows right here because this is where parts and services is at. Uh, I guess give me a thing of black concrete and we can actually get rid of this ladder. All right. Um, I need to also get myself... A new axe because mine broke and I also have to get a new shovel man the resources I go through in order to make a fantastic pizzeria one shovel one axe there we go and now I just got to empty my inventory just a little bit put that up put that up put that up don't need the purple concrete there we go yeah that's good all right, um, so let's go grab some of these cocoa beans. Originally, I was just getting these cocoa beans for cookies, but I forgot this is the only way you can get brown dye in Minecraft. So good thing we actually got some cocoa beans, bro. That way we can get some get some dye to build ourselves a Freddy Fazbear. Uh, yeah, we just need to like harvest one of these right here. So there we go. And let's get some brown dye. How much brown dye should we make? That is definitely going to be way more than enough. We just need like a little sign, so... Honestly, probably just like two will be enough. So this is how... Nah, nah, I see you, Mr. Creeper. Nah, Mr. Creeper. Nah, don't you come creeping on me. Creeper, stay away. Stay away, Mr. Creeper. Don't blow up my place. Don't do it. Don't do it. There we go. He's dead. Okay, I might have overreacted right there. So now we got concrete powder. And now it's everyone's favorite thing about making concrete is that you have to go and put it in some water really quickly. So... Let me just go ahead. There we go. Give me some brown concrete because I just want to build. I just want to build a Freddy Fazbear sign out of this concrete. Is that is that too much to ask for in Minecraft? No, there's another Enderman, bro. Stop l disposing all of your dirt on my property, bro. This is not a dumping ground, bro. Are you trying to say my place is trash? You trying to say this is the dump where you can dispose of all your dirt, bro? Is that what you're trying to say, Mr. Enderman? Hippity hoppity off my property, bro. What you looking at, Iron? Oh, I'm getting sur I'm getting surrounded by iron golems. There's iron golems all over the place. No, this is crazy. I might need to expand this fence. That way the iron golems will actually stay in like the villager area. And honestly, that's actually good having iron golems around here. Because they can protect my villagers from zombies and stuff. So that's actually that's actually good. But they're running off into the woods, bro. They're running off into the woods, bro. They're going to go start their own civilization. Alright, let me think here. So I'm thinking, yeah, we're going to expand this part of the roof right here. So let's get rid of this, this black concrete right here. And then we're going to build ourselves a Freddy Fazbear logo. So how exactly... 
is this going to look? That's the real question. That right there is actually pretty good. It's just like a, that's a super simplified Freddy logo right there. Um, and then also for Freddy's hat, because I think I might use slabs. I mean, I could use black concrete, but again, the, this outline of the roof is made out of black concrete. So I probably shouldn't use black concrete. Um, okay. Let's just go ahead. Ooh, how do we want to do this? Actually working with, uh, working with some blocks here. Okay. So just build this up. How does this look? This looks so weird right now. It's so hard to build a sign up close. Um, so that's what that's four blocks. And then I just expanded it by one, which I don't think we really need to. I think working with this is fine. Um, okay, let's see here. So we need a place for Freddy's eyes, his ears, which I think we're going to have his ears be super simple. And I've already used up all of my brown concrete too. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Iron Golem. Don't mind me. I'm building a Freddy Fazbear logo. Mind your own business, buddy. It actually doesn't look that bad. I just need to figure out... How the eyes are gonna work because this is a little it's a little stretch so i mean we could have an eye there and then an eye right there and then maybe we could do something with the mouth that looks a little that looks derpy bro wait you know what In instead of putting a freddy logo above the door what we should do is we should just build a little sign yeah we can build a sign we can put it like right here just build up with some walls and then boom put a little freddy head on top because yeah working with four blocks is a little tricky i think i'm just gonna do the same freddy design i did in my minecraft creative series if you guys remember uh my my last minecraft fnaf creative series on my main channel i had a super simple freddy design for it and i think i'm just gonna kind of mimic that on this world uh question though what should the sign be made out of i guess we'll just use cobblestone walls because i am kind of lazy like that but yeah let's just get some cobblestone walls uh, we have our, our concrete and we're just going to build up right here. Oh my gosh. Give me that concrete back. Okay. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. I'm thinking maybe to here is probably going to be good. Or should we have it lowered by one? I think maybe lowered by one. So if I'm going to do this, like my logo from the, from my creative series, it was like this. Boom. We would have two buttons. And then is that it? Is this actually, that would actually be it. It's super simple like this. I would just need, oh, I need, I need buttons, bro. I need some buttons and then we need a hat. Oh no, that needs to be, that needs to be, be made one block taller. And you know what? Screw it. We can lower it by one block. There we go. So we do that, put that there. There we go. Cause that's the actual size of it. So it's just missing the eyes and the top hat that's all it needs so what should we use for eyes if we want black eyes because i gotta use buttons i could either use stone buttons or, or or i could quickly go to the nether and get some black stone oh yeah and then i think with freddy's hat i might use slabs on the corner because it's gonna be a top hat so it'll just be like one block with two slabs on the side so uh, yeah let me get some black stone really quickly yo the one good thing about this biome right here is that there's a lot of black stone uh let's just get 12 there we go that should be more than enough blackstone all right see ya see ya ne nether again nether even though i'll probably have to come back here in the future all right so we got some blackstone uh and then we want to turn this into polished blackstone there we go which i could actually make freddy's mouth out of blackstone but there we go we got the two buttons so we got freddy fazbear eyes freddy fazbear eyes and then we just need a freddy fazbear has so let's get some of these slabs let's build up with some concrete yeah i think this will look good and then give me this there we go slab slab hat and then you know what we might as well add two little eyes on this side of the sign as well there we go that way it doesn't look super weird from the back and there we go we got our freddy fazbear logo right oh this looks cool yo i actually like how this turned out yo freddy logo right here we have fnaf written on the front door this actually looks nice i might need to add a um i think i might actually add another slab on top of the top hat to make it slightly taller that's the only other thing i'm thinking about adding uh yeah i think that's pretty good so we just add that right there and i think we're done yeah there you guys go our first pizzeria has been completed oh i really do like this i really really do like this the only thing i might change is maybe 
instead of um cobbled walls we might build it out of some other type of wall probably like um stone brick walls or something we could actually could we actually make blackstone walls i don't i don't know if we can oh i could actually make blackstone walls you know what let me go get some more blackstone i know i said i was done with the nether but let me go get some more blackstone all right just like that got some more blackstone so quickly turn this into some polished blackstone and then I guess we'll make two things of that. This is, this is actually more than enough because we only needed five walls and I just made 12. And boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Yeah, that looks better. That looks way better than just the cobblestone walls. Yeah, I like that. Okay, well, it's turning nighttime. So let me go to sleep real quick. Um, my sugar cane is growing a lot. My wheat needs to be harvested. Should I get rid of the wheat farm? I don't know because I do feel like... Hmm, I don't know. I think I'm gonna keep it for now. Why did I go back inside? My bed's no longer in there, bro. I gotta sleep outside from now on. Why am I going back inside? I don't live there anymore. I do need to make me a house. You know, I like the idea of me living in the pizzeria, but um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to make me my own house in the future. But anyways, as I was saying with the wheat farm, I do, sh I probably should keep leaving it here. Oh my gosh, and there's a zombie in it now. There's a zombie in it. Let me get rid of it so the iron golem doesn't come over here and trample everything. Oh, do I really want to harvest the wheat? No, but I probably should while it's fully grown. Uh, but yeah, I mainly need wheat right now for villager trades. But like I said earlier, I think it would be cool to make an auto melon farm. So we might actually cook. Yeah, I think we have enough time to actually cook up an auto melon farm in this video. Yay, my wheat farm has been collected. And then I guess I should go ahead and harvest the sugar cane again. This sugar cane grows so fast. A an auto sugar cane farm? super super easy to make as well do not punch the iron gold no i didn't mean to punch you bro i didn't mean to punch you misclick i misclicked bro i miss i literally just said don't punch the iron golem and what do i do i punch the freaking iron golem bro are you kidding me are you kidding me bro i'm gonna have to kill this guy now i'm gonna have to kill him let me eat some bread are you freaking kidding me bro right after i said it to not where is he hello I'm gonna make a double chest right here because I'm lazy. All right, yeah, double chest. There we go. Can stuff some of this in there. So yeah, I think we're gonna make a auto melon farm. We could also technically make an auto sugar cane farm because how you make an auto melon farm slash pumpkin farm and an auto sugar cane farm is the exact same. The main thing I need is observers, so I'm gonna need quartz. So, oh my gosh, bro. Every time I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm going in the nether, grabbing some real quick, and then I'm done. No, we got to go back in the nether again because we need quartz. This is one of the few things that quartz is actually used in the crafting recipe besides making actual like quartz blocks and stuff. Oh, hey, here's some quartz. But yeah, so we need like two quartz per absorber block. So let's just go ahead and just grab a bunch of quartz. And the cool thing about quartz is that you can get a bunch of XP from them. Yippee, but I don't have an enchantment table yet. So this is kind of pointless unless I can get two diamonds. Also something I completely forgot about in my last episode while I was going through the nether was to actually go and try to loot nether fortresses because there can actually be diamonds that will spawn in them sometimes. So if I could get two diamonds, then yeah, I can make, a, uh, make an enchantment table. Oh my gosh, bro. I was not planning on doing nether stuff today. Oh my gosh. Do I dare go try to get an enchantment table? Because I almost have 30 levels. Would be pretty good. I have a bunch of sugar cane. I have a handful. Oh, I don't have that much leather though. Um, But hey, we could always... uh, We can kill... Ho do, do hoglins give off leather? I know you can trade with piglins and get some leather. I don't know if hoglins give leather though. I think they might. Oh, that is a drop. Heck no. No, no, no. You got to be careful when you're mining in the nether, bro. You don't know whenever lava is going to get poured on you or there's just going to be a big hole somewhere. No, nah, this place is not safe. Do I dare go to the nether fortress? I'm over here by the, um, by the soul sand valley. There should be some, some crying, crying children over here. Oh, do I really go through all this effort to get two diamonds, bro? I'm just here for the quartz. Why am I going over here? We have these souls over here. The crying child, bro. They're still sad to this day. Still, still sad. Uh, I guess we can go to the nether fortress. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Ah! Okay, there you go. We're safe. Yo, hey, at least we have a nice, perfect pathway to the fortress now. Just how the heck am I gonna get down here, though? That's the, that's the real question. 
Uh, go this way. Go this way. Make a nice little mini staircase. Hopefully we don't mine into some lava. There we go. Uh, there we go. Perfect. There we go. Now we got an actual staircase that goes down here now. And let's go see if we can get ourselves some... Ah! If I don't burn to death. Let's see if we can get some diamonds. All right. Uh, there we go. Uh, yay. Walking on a sketchy pathway to a fortress that is probably going to kill me. Yippee. Yippee. Why am I coming back here? I hated this place in the last episode. Why am I back, bro? I don't know. I guess I'm spring trap and I always come back. Okay, we need to see if there's a... There has to be some chests somewhere in here. There's a blaze spawner. Oh, there's going to be chests that's going to be in, like, this area right here. Uh, let's see if we can actually just walk inside. Oh, we got to watch out for them wither skeletons, bro. No wither skeletons, please. Aha, here we go, a chest. Okay, uh, let's see. Obsidian and a gold sword. That's not helpful. I'm going to actually break these chests. That way I know I've already looted them. Uh, we got this chest right here. We got iron, some gold. And we also have a saddle. We could actually get a horse, bro. Yo, there's that horse that was in that one Freddy's location. We could actually go over there and tame it. Okay, we got a chest here. Uh, let's see. Yep, just some gold and some iron. That is not a good pathway right here. No, not going down there. All right, what's down here? <gasps> oh, we have nether warts. We should probably grab some of these. That way we can, you know, get some potions. Because you need nether warts for potions. So let's go ahead and grab... Yeah, we'll grab these nether warts, you know. Nether warts is something you don't really think of, but you do need it if you want to make potions. I don't know what I'd make potions for, but hey, better to have some than to not have some. Those are some blazes. I'm going this way. Never mind, I'm not going that way because that's a dead end. Please don't shoot me! Ah, I should have brought a shield, bro. I should have brought a shield. Um, okay, I could actually... Oh, I don't have any wood. I was going to say I could craft one, but I don't have any wood. Oh, do I really want to go this way? Sure, what's the worst that could happen? Die, Blaze! Die, Blaze! Die! That's a gas. That's a gas. But hey, I got a Blaze Rod. I got a Blaze Rod. Does that mean I'm good at something? There's... Wasn't there a second Blaze? Hello? Mr. Blaze... Oh, it's right there! Die, fool! Ouch! I'm burning! I'm burning, bro. Yeah, fighting blazes without a shield. Nah, he just punched me, bro. I forgot blazes could actually, like, hit you without their fireballs. Okay, I need to get out of here, bro. I don't got that much bread. I just wanted to see if I could get some diamonds. I just wanted some diamonds. Is that is that too much to ask for? Apparently it is, bro. Uh, ooh, chest. No, no diamonds, bro. I mean, hey, we got a gold chest plate. We'll be safe from the piglins. Where am I? I'm all the way over here. All right, well, I guess I'm going this way. Oh, and that's a blaze spawner right there. Great. Okay, I guess I'm actually going over here. Uh, is there no more interior of this uh, fortress? I know there was like a few more fortresses we found. There's one by the uh, by the warped forest. I'm not going all the way over there again. <gasps> ah, bad place. Ah, bad place. Bad place to jump out of. Uh, no, 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 no. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. I I don't want to be here anymore. I changed my mind. I don't want to be here anymore. Oh, wait. I've already been through here. I don't want to be here anymore. How do I leave? How do I leave? No, this is the dead end. Oh, uh, no. No, 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 no. I'm just going in a big circle. I'm going in a big circle. I'm going in a big circle. They're following me. They're chasing me. I'm starving. I want to leave. I want to leave. I just did a huge circle, bro. No, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here, bro. No, there's so many wither skeletons. Why is there so many? No, 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 no. I have blocks. Oh my gosh, bro. This is bad. Why did I come here, bro? I was hoping I could get diamonds. Not worth it, bro. Not worth it. Okay, let's see. Boom. 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 Come on. Oh, and he's gone. Okay. Uh, no wither skeleton skulls, unfortunately. Hey, yo! Don't shoot, bro! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm one of you, bro! I got the gold chest plate. See, I'm one of you. Bro was shooting at me until he saw the drip. He's like, oh, shoot. I didn't know you was chill like that. My bad, homie. Keep mining them quartz. Just don't mine our gold. Yeah, I got you, buddy. I got you. 
Oh, where the heck is my portal? Looking for it, don't hit me, Mr. Magma Cube. I'm out of food. I just took a jump and that hurt. I need my portal. I need my portal. I don't know where it is. I'm running low on health. Why am I so dumb? If I touch a magma block, I am screwed. I am screwed. I got no food. What am I doing? How do I leave? Actually, how the frick do I leave? I'm on half a heart, bro. What was it? Ah! No! No, please! Please, bro! Please! I gotta get out of here. Oh, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me, please. No! Why? No! No! Mr. Bird, what do I do with my stuff? No! Ain't no way! I just died right there! Ain't no way, bro! Ain't no way! Give me some stuff! Oh my gosh, bro! No! Okay, I roughly know where I was at. Because I looked up, I pulled up the cords, and I just saw my cords, so I actually have, I actually have my cords. Oh, uh, on my video, so I can just look back and see where I was. But, oh my gosh, ain't no way I was being that careless. Why did I go to the nether fortress? Why did I think that was a good idea, bro? Why did I think that was a good idea? I don't know. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea. I have no idea why. <gasps> okay, uh, no, this ain't it, bro. This ain't it. This is sketchy, bro. This is sketchy. I got the cords to my stuff, bro. I just gotta get there within five minutes before it despawns, bro. Oh, oh that's not what you want to see. That's not what you want to see. Okay, there we go. Blocked it up. See? Oh my gosh. Mining in a straight line in the nether, bro. Not fun. And mining through this basalt is just pain, bro. It's just pain. I don't want to mine through this stuff, bro. Oh, uh, this is why I don't like this biome. This is why I don't like it. Just a bunch of random stuff. The only thing I like from it is the uh, good amount of blackstone. That's like the only positive thing I have to say about this biome that I'm in. Yo, I found my stuff! I mined straight to it. Oh, let's go. Okay. Yeah, some of my stuff definitely burned. My diamond pickaxe survived. That's good. I got my quartz I wanted. Yeah, that's all that was really super valuable to me. Even my guard hat survived, bro. My guard hat has been through it all, bro, and it's still standing. Um, I think that's all of my stuff. Uh, well, there's some nether rack down here. Uh, yep, pick that up. Um, I think that's everything. I think that's all my stuff right there. I still can't believe I died like that, bro. That was just such a stupid, stupid way to die, bro. I can't believe it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Quartz. Quartz. Yes, give me quartz. You'd love to see quartz. You'd love to see it. Um, I don't think I really... Yeah, I don't... I don't... I think... I don't... Yeah, I don't think I really lost anything too valuable right there. Okay, good. Phew! Because with all this lava around, it's kind of sketchy. But hey, here's the bright side is now I have a straight pathway straight to my nether portal. So now I can just easily get back. Ah, oh, sweet. So right up here should be my portal. One portal, please. Where's it at? Where's my portal? In here? Uh, yep, right here. Oh my gosh, bro. This is why we don't like the nether. This is why we don't like the nether. Oh my gosh, bro. Yeah, no, that, was, that wasn't that was even worth it. I went to the nether fortress to try to get some diamonds, but I didn't even get a single diamond from it, bro. That was just, oh no, not again. Not again. And guys, I'm being kind of lazy. I'm making a, uh, I'm making a chest. I'm making a chest monster right here. Oh. Uh... <laughs> okay, well, anyways, now that I put my stuff in there, let's actually make an auto melon farm. Wait a second. Do I? Oh, please tell me I got redstone. I need some redstone for this because I needed to make observers. I also got to make pistons. Do I have redstone? There's my melons. Grab those. We also got the pumpkins. Um, yep, we got redstone. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. There's all my redstone. Uh, anything else I need? I'm mainly, I'm also going to need a lot of, a lot of cobblestone, which I don't have like any cobblestone, bro. I'm going to have to go mining for some cobblestone, bro. I mean, Hey, to be fair, I am going to actually have to clear out, clear out a area underground. So that should be fine. Oh, I don't really want to use my diamond pickaxe anymore because it's almost broken. So I'm actually going to make another another iron pickaxe so we'll put that up 
Give me my sticks. Give me my iron. Where's my iron? Where, where'd I put my iron? Where'd I put it? Okay, it's right here. Let's go ahead and just, let's just make two, two iron pickaxes. Sure, there you go. Boom, two iron pickaxes, just like that. And now let's go mine out an area. All right, guys, the auto farm is pretty much done. So instead of doing a auto melon farm like I originally planned, I just decided to do a auto pumpkin farm. But basically how you make an auto pumpkin farm and an auto melon farm is the exact same. So if we go ahead and head down to the basement, we can see that it is finished. All I got to do is put in the final chest. So we have our auto wheat farm right here. And then right underneath it, we have our auto pumpkin farm. So look at this bad boy right here. So all we need to go ahead and do is uh yeah we'll just have one chest for now so put down a chest put down the hopper so this will collect up all the drops so this is the auto pumpkin farm so pretty much how this farm works is right now all the seeds aren't grown but pretty much after a seed is fully grown and once it plops out a pumpkin off to the side the seed will actually change its position instead of it being straight up it will be curved so it connects to the pumpkin the observer will pick up on that change and once it does that it'll activate the nearby pistons and the piston will push the pumpkin and the pumpkin will then drop into the water and then the hopper collects all the pumpkins and that's pretty much how it works and all the hoppers and pistons are just pretty much connected by some simple redstone and this redstone has to be lifted up by a block that way it goes directly into the piston so uh yeah super 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 simple design right there this thing basically just eats up a lot of redstone and also a good bit of iron for the pistons and as you can see right there the pistons are going to be going kind of crazy because the seeds are currently growing so every time a seed grows the pistons will activate but once all the seeds are fully grown we don't have to worry about that anymore so we got ourselves a auto pumpkin farm oh this is beautiful all right so all we got to go ahead and do is just for the time being is just go ahead and pretty much just seal all of this up so i mean i guess okay there goes my iron pickaxe man i've gone through so many iron pickaxes this is a, by the way i only have three pieces of iron left because i had to spend so much iron on the pistons because i forgot it takes one iron ingot to make one piston bro that's so annoying so now all my iron supplies is pretty much gone um but anyways let's go ahead and build a wall here and the reason why we want a wall is so that way when the pumpkins get pushed off they go straight into the water instead of just overshooting and just falling on the cobblestone right next to it but as long as we got lights in there no mobs will spawn and also the crops can grow since they have light so this is all we got to do is just add in this wall and then we are done which i guess i should go ahead and board up this right here this was just letting me get to the redstone and there we go our auto pumpkin farm is done and in the future if i want to add some melons on the side or just add even more pumpkins all i gotta do is copy this exact same design on this side right here or if I wanted to, I can even make this even deeper and add in more rows. So we got two rows of nine. So there's nine seeds on each row. So that's 18 seeds and that'll produce some pumpkins. And over time, we just have this running in the background like the auto wheat farm. We should have a lot of pumpkins out of this that we can trade for some emeralds. So uh, there you go. 
auto pumpkin farm is done and now we never get to see it and the only thing we get is this beautiful chest that gives us our stuff so eventually i think it'd be very cool if we made some pipes right here that connected up like all the pumpkins and the wheat and basically just had like a water pipe that shoots all the items out of the hoppers and uh, shoots them upwards like making a water elevator and uh, throws them into a chest on the surface that way all i gotta do is walk up to the chest get my wheat get my pumpkins and maybe in the future get my melons and sugar cane and i think that's good but yeah i think this is really nice having all my auto farms underneath the ground right here so that way it doesn't make the surface look ugly and that way it's always loaded in so anytime i'm over here the auto farms will be working in the background so that is indeed super nice but there you go just a nice little bonus farm added in at the end of this episode so i really do love how my pizzeria has turned out and i think for the time being I think I am going to go ahead and patch this up. Luckily, we know it's right in front of the window down to the mine right there. But yeah, this is our pizzeria pretty much fully completed. So again, I was talking about earlier, maybe adding some slabs, but I don't really feel a need to add slabs right now. I think it's fine the way it is. So anyways, guys, now that this pizzeria is finally finished, that means in the next episode, we will start working on our second location. And again, I got some really good ideas for it. And I think you guys will be super excited for the next pizzeria. But anyways, that's going to be it for today's episode on the FNAF mod survival world. So again, if you guys do want to see more episodes in the future, leave a like on this video. That lets me know that you guys want to see more. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!